right. Today we're going to talk about Google Chrome browser and the recent developments revolving around the removal of the fading scroll bars feature. Now this was a feature that users were enabled. Now this is a feature that users were able to inactivate. This was a feature that users were able to inactivate. Now this was a feature that users were enabled to activate. Why can I not say this? Now this is a feature which users were able to activate. There we go. Not enable and inactivate. Oh yeah. All right. Now we're rolling. Here we go. Within the experimental flags page within the Google Chrome browser. And for those who don't know, that address for the internal Chrome flags page is Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And we'll link that in the description below. And that gives you access to the experimental features of the browser that you can enable and disable. This was a feature that we covered a while back, a couple of years ago, regarding how to activate the fading scroll bars in the Chrome Flags page because there wasn't a lot of information out there at that time and we wanted to let people know this was available and to enable this in the past you would enable the overlay scroll bars control and enable the flash overlay scroll bars after any scroll update and enable flash overlay scroll bars when mouse enter but were slowly removed from the experimental flags page over the last several updates this year and the thing that was confusing was users were still allowed to utilize the fading scroll bars feature if they had it enabled before the controls were removed from the experimental flags page. So there was kind of a grace period if you had it enabled before the update. It just didn't allow new users to enable it. But there was a workaround for that as well. And you could enable a flag called temporarily unexpire M76 flags. Doing that allowed the user to regain access to those three controls and the user could then reactivate the fading scroll bar. So today we're going to talk about are there any workarounds that we can implement without having to rely on the experimental flags page controls and if so, how do we do that? Of all the workarounds that have been floated around recently on the Google forums, on Reddit, other places, some of them still work. Well, we know of one that still works pretty good. The other ones have been reportedly not working. So the first one we talked about previously was to temporarily unexpire M76 flags. And that could be enabled in the Google Chrome experimental flags page as well. And then you could regain access to the overlay scroll bar. But after the most recent update, that doesn't seem to be working, at least on this system. You can regain access to the controls, but when you set them and relaunch the browser, it just continues to deactivate. Another workaround that had been floated around was to modify some of the files in the app data folder on your C drive and that was accomplished by going to so that was this PC C drive and then you would go to users your user account go to app data go to local go to the Google folder and then go to the Chrome folder and then click user data and then find a file called local state and then some people were modifying the beginning few lines of that file to reactivate the fading scroll bars. Whoa! What? Yeah, exactly. But the recent chatter on some of the forums is that that is no longer working as well. But there is still one workaround that works. It takes a little bit of changing how you opening the browser. And in order for it to implement fully, you can, you're going to need to set the browser to run all the time in the background. And we're going to show you how to do that, how to implement the fading scroll bars using a application target shortcut. We noticed this workaround on Reddit by user Isongzi. It says it's back in Microsoft Edge Canary. And someone else responded, where? I can't find. And he says, sorry, it's not 100%. I'm like, so excited. But it is back if you utilize the shortcut and append this command line switch. And other people have said, yep, it, that's working. Hopefully they don't remove this too. He responds that they won't because it's default enabled in Chrome OS. So hopefully this is something that people will be able to utilize for a while and not have it start glitching or malfunctioning or deactivating. But we're going to add our own little twist to it, and that is to keep Chrome running in the background so that we don't have to open the browser from this application shortcut every time and add the 
application shortcut to the startup folder so that we don't have to manually click the application shortcut at all. This will allow the application shortcut to run as soon as we start Windows and then by enabling continue to run in the background in the Chrome settings it will always be running with those command line switch parameters. Alright so let's get to it. What do we do? So we're gonna make a Google Chrome browser application shortcut on our desktop and there are several ways you can do this but probably the easiest way is just to go to the start menu over here the Windows icon to the left go down the application list look for Google Chrome just left click and hold down and then drag it to your desktop and that will create the Google Chrome application shortcut and then we can right click that shortcut and go down to properties and then you're gonna see this box pop up and in the target field input box you're gonna see that it's already populated with the application target location and it's gonna be quotation marks C program files 86 Google backslash Chrome backslash application backslash chrome.exe and quotation and it should stop there we already have the command line switch because it was already applied to that start menu at Chrome shortcut but if you didn't it would stop here and then you just hit space and then add the command line switch which is dash dash enable dash features equal sign overlay with a capital O scroll bar with a capital S then hit apply and OK. And that's our first step. Now we're going to add our shortcut to the startup folder so that we don't have to click that link every time in order to get our fading scroll bars. Stay with me here. It's a little bit of a series of steps, but we're going to get to it. So the next thing we're going to do is just on our keyboard, we're going to hold down the Windows key and the R key at the same time. And we're going to type this command here, shell. S-H-E-L-L -L, colon startup. Okay, that's going to pull up our startup folder for Windows. So when we start up Windows and we log in, these shortcuts or these programs are set to run automatically. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our newly created shortcut over to our start folder. We already have one in here and we even labeled it fading scroll bar or fading scroll. So we don't really need to do this. We're just doing it to go through the steps with you. And then that's it. You just close this folder. Now, this application is set to start when Windows starts utilizing the command line switch parameters that you have in the target field. It's going to open this program at this location, and then it's going to add this parameter, enable the features, overlay scroll bar. Our third and final step is to activate Chrome to always run in the background. And to do that, we're going to go into Chrome browser. We're going to click the three vertical dots up in the top right here to pull out down the menu. And we're going to go to settings. And then we're going to scroll all the way down until we see advanced. And we're going to click advanced settings. And then we're going to go down to the system category. Then we're going to enable the option to continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed setting the browser to always run in the background because the problem is when we utilize this method is it requires you to open Google Chrome from that target every time in order to gain access to the fading scroll bars feature now let's say you're looking through an email you know and the browser is closed and you're looking through your emails you click a link in an email it's gonna automatically open your default browser which is Chrome and you're not gonna have the fading scroll bars enacted in that case because you didn't open Chrome from the shortcut link. So what we're going to do is we're going to set Google Chrome browser to continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. So technically it never closes. And that's going to solve about 95% of the problems where you're going to lose the fading scroll bar functionality. But there's still going to be about 5% of the time where you're gonna have an issue and that is if you make a change to the browser and you relaunch it you're not gonna have any scroll bars so you're gonna have to close those tabs and open new tabs then you'll have your scroll bars back again but if you launch the browser let's say you make a change and you relaunch the browser or you open stuff from history 
you're not going to have access to your fading scroll bar. Basically, it's the macro type commands that the, that's embedded in the browser. So like if you open up your history and you go to the full history page and you click each URL individually, you, you will have the fading scroll bar features activated. But if you go to recently closed or to the jump list, the history jump list where you go the three dots to pull down the menu and you go to history menu, once you get to the history toolbar menu, then you'll see you can either go to the full history page but if you click links from the jump list in the little pop-up context menu there or if you restore previously closed tabs that open from the browser's cache none of those tabs are going to have the scroll bar where chrome opens the last previously closed so many tabs where it's remembering things and it's repopulating the tabs that 5% of the time where you're not going to have any scroll bars. It doesn't just break it and say, okay, you're going to go back to the default scroll bars. You lose the scroll bar altogether. The fix is easy. You just close those tabs or you don't even have to close the tabs. You could just pull over the URL to open a new tab next to it and then you'd have the scroll bar and then you could close the original tab. It does give you the fading scroll bar, but you have to keep Chrome running in the background in order for that to work properly. And I know some people aren't gonna like that because it doesn't seem to utilize a lot of resources, but people wanna shut stuff down on their system when they wanna shut down, and that's understandable. But the upside is if you leave Chrome running in the background, it opens quicker. You will regain the functionality of the fading scroll bar features. If you leave it running all the time in the background here under advanced settings, and then continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed, you're gonna notice when I close, we still have, let's check, close all these. We still have Chrome browser in the notification area. It's still running in the background. And you can do some things by right clicking it. Go to person one. You can open your extensions from here. Task manager. It'll show you what's running, how much CPU it's u utilizing. Now this isn't Windows task manager. This is Google Chrome task manager. And you can end some of these processes, but you can see even if it's running in the background, it doesn't use that much resources. Let me close this. All right, so we have an audio recorder running. We have a Windows Media Player up, and we have Notepad up. Notepad++ with probably like 10 tabs open. And we're only using 3 to 7% CPU. So you can see having this running in the background doesn't add a lot of extra overhead to the CPU utilization. So that's definitely an option if it's important to get the fading scroll bars working for now. But what you have to do is when you restart Windows, the first time you open Chrome, it has to be from that shortcut that we created with the overlay scroll bars enabled. Once you do that, you're good for the rest of your time that you're logged into Windows. Or, like we mentioned on the second step, ensure that you place the shortcut with the command line switch parameter to enable the overlay scroll bars in your Windows startup folder. Then Chrome will start automatically and you have it set to run continuously in the background. So you don't even have to worry about clicking the link. Chrome is going to pop up on the screen right when you log into Windows and you can minimize it or close it, doesn't matter, and it's going to continue to run in the background and you don't even have to worry about clicking anything. You're going to have your fading scroll bars for the rest of the time that you are logged into Windows or until you disable Chrome from running in the background. Right, so that concludes our reactivating overlay scroll bars on Google Chrome browser. Hopefully that helps get fading scroll bars reactivated on your system as well. Merry fading and a happy scroll to everyone out there.